Hi there, Simon from simonwater.com. Uh, a couple of Italian white wines here, both from the same estate, um, Vadia Berti, uh, in, um, is it Campania? Um, I think it's Campania, in southern Italy. Um, two, two of their, their famous uh, uh, DOCs, actually, one's at the end, they're both DOCG now. Uh, so, uh, first one I've got here, they're both 2014 wines. Uh, so, this is the 2040 Greco di Tufo. Um, I have had to put one of these slow pourers in because uh, uh, I pulled the cork out and it, uh, half of it stayed in the bottle and the other half didn't. So anyway, uh, it should it'll dribble out of here and uh, it, I'll, I'll get I'll get a glass in the end, a small glass of course. A couple of things when I stick my nose in. One of them is it's got what I, I call slightly bruised apple fruit. Um, if you imagine tart tatin or something like that, when apples go caramelised, but here it's really green apples that that that, uh, that, that, that hasn't had all that, all that much sugar on. It smells like it's going to have this uh, slightly tart edge, but also this slightly baked edge. Uh, the other thing is almost like, a, and I don't know whether this is the soil talking, but there's a savoury, slightly, almost a volcanic note to it, um, and a little bit of smoky bacon. I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, let's taste it. And very similar flavours. Uh, there's a green apple, a little bit of citrus freshness, and this smoky thing that, that flits in and out. And behind it all, uh, and what you're left with in, the, in, in your mouth at the end, there's some herb character. Uh, herbs like, um, it's those dry, really dry sage and stuff like that. A bit of fennel maybe. Um, and um, But then this stoniness and, um, yes, there's... Uh, uh, that volcanic edge, it's, um, it, it's, it's really quite nice. Intriguing wine. I don't know if it's going to be everyone's, quite everyone's cup of tea, but um, mm, I, could, I could probably hoover up quite a bit of that. Let's try the other one, which is the Fiano Davalino. Again, 2014. In we go. This smells brisker and more precise, more on that uh, citrus, yeah, particularly lime, lemon, uh, spectrum and more of the herbs, less of the smoky bacon, also less of the um, that slight volcanic edge that I was getting in the first one. But then, when you taste it, that stony, uh, minerally character uh, really comes through quite strongly. Yeah, there's the herbs and the and, and the fruit, and that that stony character. Uh, what I like about um, this one. Probably slightly more, I think I slightly marginally prefer this to the other one. It's texture, it's got a really nice feel in the mouth, and it's got this what I call gritty pear skin character. Some wines, they sort of like roll over your tongue and you sort of go, ooh, where did that go? Here, uh, it's almost as if there's a little bit of tannin in there that's uh, just adding a chewy bite. Not so much that it, 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 it is sort of having you sucking your cheeks in or anything like that, but um, uh, yeah, there's this briskness of, of, of flavour. But this bite of, uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's tannin, but whatever it is, it's, uh, it's really rather nice. Uh, actually, it's a nice pair of wines, and uh, it's, uh, uh, so I, I don't know too much about the estate, but uh, I do know that uh, I might keep an eye out for it in the future. See you soon.